Henry N. Wagner Jr. was one of the most influential figures in nuclear medicine, responsible for training about 500 of the nuclear medicine physicians who are currently practicing today. Beginning in the 1980s, he closed the annual meeting with his highlights presentation, a roundup of the research that had been presented to the attendees. At the end of the presentation, he would name the image of the year. Image of the year process is always very exciting. We get recommendations from every category of submitted abstracts for the annual meeting. And so we really are looking at the best of the best. I mean, there are multi-layer process of selecting the image of the year, which uh, goes through multiple layers of review by the reviewers, by the vice chairs, by the uh, co-chairs uh, in the scientific program committee. This year's winner, um, you know, I think not only is it a unique um, new tracer, relatively new tracer, um, the target PDL1 is is one that's been very active in immunotherapy. And so not only is it interesting chemistry wise, I'm a chemist, but it's an area that really needed attention. Being part of the selection committee and process is an opportunity to help recognize groundbreaking research. It was a great honor to be a the first Chinese scholar to give a plenary lecture for molecular imaging at the OSCO annual meetings in 2008. My career has been a journey with a significant change from being a neurosurgeon for nearly 10 years to now focus on research in radiation oncology and nuclear medicine. For me, nuclear medicine is a perfect bridge it connects my clinical work with patients directly to uh, the science we need to find a better way to treatment patients. More and more new agents are being developed to precisely identify tumor cells as the key targets for cancer treatment. I guess for me, it's more that we know this patient has cancer. So being able to see this target really well means that there's also a place for a treatment. If we didn't see it light up with PDL1, then that particular treatment isn't going to be effective. And so we need to start searching for something else. This image demonstrates the use of novel, novel immune targeting radio tracers uh, that provide a clearer, more mechanistic view of immunotherapy response. It reflects a shift toward precision immuno-oncology, exactly the kind of forward thinking since Dr. Wagner championed this award. If you really can get a nice, clear picture with minimal impact on the patient, I think that also is why I, I really like pet imaging, that we are non-invasive, right? It takes a, a little bit of time out of someone's morning, hopefully, and we're able to get a very clear picture of different types of metabolism or expression of different targets. This honor truly motivated us uh, to continue working hard and uh, we will do our best to live up to it. Professionally, this award is a very important milestone. It helps more people see our work on PDI imaging and uh, its uh, potential to improve cancer care. There is increasing emphasis on precision oncology and the understanding the tumor biology is, I think, the mainstay of the precision oncology. All patients are going to be receiving personalized and targeted treatments. There is more and more of targeted treatments coming to the oncology and being able to characterize the expression of the particular target, being able to characterize the immune tumor market environments to see which patients might be responding to immune therapy or which patient might not be responding to treatment. These are all exciting things about this field 
that I'm predicting over the next five years, we'll have more and more tools to and basically assess the tumor biology and basically drives our discovery of new treatments and ready pharmaceutical treatments. These are tools and information that are going to help the treatment to hopefully overcome the cancer.